new overnight. Police in Taylor investigating a crash that left a child dead. This happened at Telegraph and North Line Roads. That intersection was shut down for hours but has since reopened. We have been in contact with Taylor Police this morning. They aren't saying much right now about this investigation, but we are working to get more information about the age of the child and who else may have been injured in that crash. Of course, we'll bring you any new developments as soon as we get them. Happening now, home and business owners along the St. Clair River are dealing with a threat of rising water. A flood warning remains in effect until 10 o'clock this morning. Chopper 7 was over the river on Tuesday night. Ice jams are causing roads and yards to flood there. Look at that. Icebreakers from the U.S. and Canadian Coast Guards are expected to be back out at 6 o'clock this morning. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans is in Algonac this morning, and she will have a live report for us about what the conditions are looking like right now. That's coming up in our next hour. And the state superintendent's calling on lawmakers to extend the next school year, allowing students to make up for learning gaps caused by this pandemic. Dr. Michael Rice says in-person learning is the best for students, and many have missed out since last March. Rice also notes that the current minimum number of days that children are in school is too low compared to other high-performing nations. The superintendent says in part, child by child, group by group, districts will have to reflect on what is needed and how to meet these needs. Well, temperatures are in the upper teens, lower 20s right now. It's another cold start that's typical for February. And here's a look at uh, the flood warning for the St. Clair River until 10 o'clock this morning. Um, otherwise, a really nice day today. It's going to be bright. I know it's real cold this morning, but the wind is lighter. And so it's going to be more comfortable outside this afternoon when we'll have a high of 35 degrees. Finally, above the average temperatures. But uh, again, the temperatures are on the way down this weekend. We're going to talk more about the cold as well as our next storm system in the next half hour.